All right, 1.5 polynomial multiplication. So just like in 1.4, whenever we added and subtracted, I don't have a notes sheet for this. This is just the homework, and I'm going to do a few of these with you to get you started. So starting off, the way to think about this is that we have two polynomials, right? They're both binomials, and we're going to multiply them. Um, some people are taught the, the FOIL word, F-O-I-L, first, outer, inner, last. Um, I don't necessarily use that, but I know that's useful to some people. I take the 4n and I distribute it to both of these, and then I take the other, the negative 3, and distribute it to both of the others. Right? So everything gets multiplied. So I'll have 8n squared plus 20n minus 6n minus 15. Now I combine like terms, I'll have 8n squared plus 14n minus 15. And that's that. Let's do another binomial. Maybe we'll do number 4. 5 and 8 gives me 40x squared. Oops, did I do that one right in the last one? Yeah. All right, I have my 5 times 8 gives me 40. And then I have an x times an x, which gives me x squared, right? Next up, I have 25x plus another 40x and then plus 25. Combining like terms, I get 40x squared plus 40, 50, 65, x plus 25. And that's that. Um, looking at number five. You know what? I'll do number six because you guys don't have an answer to that one. Um, I have a trinomial and a binomial. This one's a little bit different. Um, we do the same process, but... It's just longer. So I take my 4v squared first, and I distribute it both to the 5v and to the 4. So this will be uh, 20v cubed, right, to the 3, because I have a v squared and a v, plus 16v squared. Next up, I have the middle piece. So then that'll be negative 10v squared minus 8v. And lastly, we have the 3, which gives us a 15v and a 12. Alrighty, now that we have that, we just combine like terms. So I have 20v cubed plus 6v squared plus 7v plus 12. And there we are. Let's look at one that's a little bit harder. Um, is there one that's harder? Yeah, let's look down at like number, well, you know what, I'll do two more. Which two should I do? Maybe I'll do number 16 and 17. Starting off, I'll multiply these out. So this will be eight times eight is 64, P to the fourth. Then what is that, what's eight times three? Um, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Negative 24 P cubed. 8 times 6, good grief. They have all the hard multiplication in this one. 8 times 6 is 48. This will be a negative 48 P squared. Uh, next up, we'll have another negative 6 times 8, which will be another negative 48, but this will be a p cubed plus 18 p squared plus 36 p. And I'm going to write these on the line underneath it now. Um, lastly, I multiply that negative 4, so this will be Negative 4 times 8 will be a negative 32 p squared plus 12p plus 24. All right, now highest exponent first. Our highest exponent is a 4, so this will be 64p 
to the fourth. And then for the cubed, I have negative 24 and negative 48. That gives me negative 72 p cubed, right? I did this one and that one together. Uh, for squared, I'll have negative 48 plus 18 minus 32. That gives me negative 62 p squared. Then I'll have 36 plus 12, which gives me 48 p plus 24. Not crazy, not crazy. All right, lastly, number 18. All right, 8 times 5 is 40, v to the 4th, right? v squared and v squared gives me v to the 4th. And then I'll have 8 times 8 is 64, 64 v cubed plus 32 v squared plus 5v cubed, plus 8v squared, plus 4v, plus, was that 30 or 35? 30v squared, plus 48v, and then what is that? Uh, 12, 24, yeah, 24. Uh, combining like terms now, we have a highest exponent of 4, so we'll have 40v to the 4th plus 64v cubed. Oop, nope, not quite. 64 plus, oops, plus 5 gives me 69v cubed. And then for my v squared, I have a 32. An 8, a 30, gives me 70. And then 4 and 48 gives me 52. And then lastly, I have a 24. All right, there we are. Um, just like in the last one, we have our odd answers at the end here so that you can check yourself. Uh, make sure you submit this to Classroom with all the problems done. Um, and... Good luck. Let me know if you have any issues.